So, got another movie, got another trailer. Sorry, I mean, it's a show or just a movie. It's on Netflix. Um, this is, I believe, a movie on Netflix starring Sandra Bullock. Uh, Netflix. Um, I, I kind of I like seeing. I'm starting to like seeing the bigger stars on Netflix. Not because I want a name. It's because I'm starting to see these um, stars are actually getting projects that they want to work on. That's that's like more experimental. I, I can see where where they wouldn't get this uh, a major Hollywood studio wouldn't uh, okay a lot of these because you know they want they always just want to be guaranteed to make their money back. So if it ain't already a built-in audience or if they don't know if it's if they're not 100% positive it's gonna uh, sell big then they don't even take the chance. So a lot of you know big name actors can't you know uh, go outside they uh, they love they box of what they the same character they always play or they built the audience that they have um they might have created a following so if uh if they want to do something outside of that studios won't pay them to do that so they got to you know stay in that one and they one wheelhouse so i'm looking like netflix is kind of giving them more rope to say okay this is something i want to try to do so i'm starting to see like i'm starting to see some stars like okay i want to do something a little more experimental and uh, be different or whatever. And it's like, okay, now we're seeing some decent films or decent shows. You know, that's what, you know, that's kind of what filmmaking is all about, uh, about vision, about uh, uh, seeing, uh, you, you putting us in a universe where we, we get an eye in a universe that we don't, uh, that we don't live in, of course. That's kind of like what filming is a, filmmaking is about. <clears throat> and it became so corporate that they forgot that and so that's why you know big big name movies, summer blockbusters are just crap that you've seen already a million times. They just regurgitate crap just to make money. So now I like seeing more of the art artistic side of filmmaking, um, and Netflix is kind of giving them more of a, more leeway on that. So this is a movie on Netflix. It's called Bird Box. Sorry I didn't say that when I first started, but Bird Box uh, starring Sandra Bullock. Don't know what it's about. I uh, heard decent things about it. Uh, a couple of my friends did a reaction to it, so I'm going to check it out and see what it do. So I have more thoughts on this once I see the trailer. So without further ado, Bird Box. Oh shit. <laughs> God, they got John Makovich. Thank you. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> um, damn I didn't know that that looks fucking good <laughs> I'm, I'm mad I waited so long to watch that okay I'm back yeah just watch Bird Box and um, damn damn that looks um, that looks fucking good dude I don't know exactly what it's about but that's good that's what I want I do not like movies and trailers that's so predictable that I can guess what's going to happen. I can guess what's going to happen next. I'm not sure what's going on there. It look like it's something. Um, I'm not sure. It's something they see that makes them go crazy or something. Um, now, I mean, now that that's been done before, but it still looks interesting how they doing it. And the, they did it with a. Uh, it's just last year called It Comes at Night. I think it kind of got that kind of vibe to it. But the whole trope of, sorry, not a trope, the whole um, uh, thing where they cannot look at anything, that's interesting. That makes it a lot more interesting because that makes what they got to do so much harder. And plus, you got two kids in tow, you know, that's making it real hard too. Uh, so I'm looking like, okay, this this is a, this looks interesting. This looks interesting. Um and I and I can't is it is it creatures or something? I can't. Uh, I, it, I I'm not sure. I, I feel like that when she's like, "What's that creature?" I feel like that was a, another person, but we don't know. Uh, and honestly, I'm thinking introducing you know monsters or creatures would be kind of silly. Um, but I mean, I, I, how can I say that when everything else looked crazy? But it looked like everything was self inflicted. It looked like something was going on with people's minds or something. So I don't know. It's real interesting though. Um, like I said, the fact that they can't see anything makes it more, it makes it more suspenseful. So that looks damn good. It's coming out December. I didn't see the whole date. December, mid sec, December 21st. Okay. <laughs> oh, and select theaters. I might go to theaters to see that because that looks damn good. I mean, that's what I'm talking about, man. Netflix, they stepped their game up, man. Um, I heard they've been giving bigger budgets for movies I seen uh, some a lot I seen more actors in there than I thought I thought just Sandra Bullock but I'm looking like damn we got uh John Malkovich Laurel Howery uh uh, uh what's her name Sarah Pauls I forgot her name <laughs> you know who I'm talking about uh she got that kind of weird long face but she's she's a good actress um uh yeah so I'm looking like okay they got actors in here and the shit looks the shit looks suspenseful as hell, so I can't wait to see that. Um so like I said, it's coming out December twenty first. Might go to the show to see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and review that. So be on the lookout for a review for that. Um so that's my reaction for Bird Box. A little better than I thought it was. So <laughs> can't wait. Finally got some shit coming out. I only got something to watch. Alright, so I'm out of here. Uh, appreciate y'all for checking out the video and uh, subscribe, man. I need to get those subscriptions up. All right, y'all.